Let me start with by explaining what is Azure Blob Storage. Azure Blob Storage is a cloud-based object storage service provided by Microsoft. If you're working with Azure, then you're already familiar with what is Azure Blob Storage. Basically, by using Azure Blob Storage, we can actually store and manage unstructured data. For example, we can store documents, images, videos, and other types of digital content. In this scenario, we would be storing all the zip files that we receive as part of invoice emails. Let's now concentrate on how we can configure and implement Azure Blob in Microsoft Azure, then how we can configure in SAP CPI. Before you want to create anything on Microsoft Azure, you should have a valid account and you should have valid credit. Once you have your account set up, then you can start creating artifacts on Azure Microsoft. I will now show you how we can create Azure Blob in Microsoft Azure. First, go to the portal.azure.com. Once you log in, go to home. You can click on storage accounts or you can search for storage accounts. Storage accounts. So click on the storage account service. Now I'm going to create a new storage account. Click on create storage account. You need to give the subscription, which I already have. And you can also create new resource group. I'm now creating a new resource group here. Resource group underscore out of the box EA. Any name, you can give any name uh, in the resource group. For demo, okay. This is a resource group. And click on OK. I need to give valid storage account name. So let me give a valid account uh, storage account name here out of the box EA. So basically I cannot use any underscore, any special characters there. So basically I want to give uh, storage account SA out of the box EA demo for, so this is a valid name. So it is accept, being accepted. Now click on the next advanced. I just want to keep the settings as it is uh, without any changes. You can read them and see what is the right setting for you but for this demo i'm just keeping them as it is by default so all the other all, all of these advanced settings we have access protocols blob storage azure files and i want to have a hot profile here and networking i just want to keep the default as it is and now go to the data protection here also i want to keep the same standard settings and encryption remains the same so here actually you can see enable support for customer management keys uh, I want to have all the services or blob only files. You can read the documentation there by clicking on the button I there. So it will explain what is the purpose of the setting. So I just want to keep Bob, uh, sorry, blobs and files uh, only. Now review. Now this is the final uh, state before creating it. So that is a subscription, that is resource group and store account name. And then just click on create. So basically it will take some time, a few minutes. So it's going to create a storage account for me that I can use for my integration. So deployment is in progress. So once it is done, it will notify you uh, once uh, the storage, storage account is created. So these are resource, uh, storage account SA out of the box EA demo 4. So that is a storage account name that I would be using in SAP CPI adapter configuration as well. So deployment is completed. You can click on go to resource here or also you can also click on the notification menu. Now you can see these are the details. If you go to the overview, you can see all the details of the storage account, what is the resource group and subscription and all the details and subscription ID and other uh, details here. Yeah, so all the details here. And if you go to the containers, so this is the con there's a default container that is logs, but I want to create, uh, I, I want to have uh, my own container. I'll create that later. So we can have containers, file shares, queues, and tables here. So you can see the logs is private. So that is a uh, anonymous access level is private there. Now go to the portal again. So this is the resource that I already created now. Click on that. So let me go back. Sorry, uh, this is the storage account that I created. And take this, uh, copy this name because I need this for my SAP CP configuration and keep them in a notepad. You can see security and networking and goes to the keys. Now I need a key because I need this security key 
to uh, authenticate myself to access the storage account. So copy this key. So basically you can show and uh, copy the key here and paste it in the notepad. So save it for yourself. So you need storage account name, container name and key name and password. Okay. So here what I've done is I created a security parameter. So basically here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, security material to connect to uh, uh, blob storage, give it a name and give the security name and re-enter the security key here. Okay. So create the security parameter and then give it a name here, some name, for example, blob shared access key and you need to paste this uh, key there that you copied from the portal. So just copy paste two times, okay? Then deploy. Once you deploy it, uh, the security metal is deployed in the tenant. So it is deployed and is ready to use in the SAP CPI integration adapter. Okay, so we're gonna uh, use that parameter in the uh, receiver adapter of the Azure Blob storage. So open this connection. Do you see here, I have used shared access key here and I use the security key that I just created. Okay, so this is how you create the Azure Blob uh, storage uh, account in Azure and this is how you need to set the settings, okay? Next, I'm going to show you how we can use uh, Azure Storage Explorer. Go to Google, search for Azure Storage Explorer, search for it. Then uh, open the link from the Microsoft and you can download based on your operating system. So I have Mac here or you can also use Windows or whatever my OS that you use. So once it is downloaded, basically what you can do is uh, you can open it uh, basically this is the explorer that you can use to manage uh, the content on the storage account it is an optional uh, task for you but if you want to explore more how the blob storage is managed uh, in uh, microsoft azure then you can use this tab now uh, click on sign on and click on uh, sign in option uh, uh, use your credentials to log in so once you signed in basically it will load all the subscriptions for you uh, on the left hand side you can see uh, my subscription details here some default uh, subscriptions and also some contos the training subscriptions that are used for my training now you see here uh, filter out and you can see the subscription that we use uh, sub underscore my name okay uh, if you click on this it will show you uh, uh, all the storage accounts click on uh, the subscription expand the sc out of the box uh, storage account you can see uh, the blob containers and you can also see the disks there behind the storage container okay if you expand this storage container you see the blob container that i would be using and i created a container called scenario 4 and you see there are already some zip files there but i'm going to delete them okay because for testing i want to show you end to end with a clean slate so let me delete those files you can delete uh, files from here you can do a lot of operations basically you can manage the complete storage account by using this azure microsoft uh, azure storage explorer this is a very powerful tool it's like a uh, client tool for your azure uh, storage management okay now you can also see here for, for example the properties you can also see all the keys and you can copy the keys from here if you have access to the uh, azure storage uh, explorer for example, in reality, customers won't give you the access to Azure portal, but in some cases, if you have access to the storage explorer, then you can also copy the keys from here like this, which will be used in the security material. Okay. So you see, remember when creating the security material, I use the key from the portal. You can use the same key here also from the storage explorer. So that's what I want to explain here. So two ways, either you can get the key from the portal or you can also get the key from the storage explorer. Okay. So repeat, create a parameter security material and enter the key there and save it and deploy it. So give the name and enter the security param parameter and repeat the security parameter and deploy it. Then you're good to go. Okay. So this is how you uh, create the blob storage and configure it in SAP CPI.